Hi, this is Gary. You're watching a Connect 4 online uh, tutorial. And in this segment, we're going to cover what I feel the best early moves are. And that's move number one, move number two, move number three. Uh, whether you're going first, you're going second. Uh, we want to cover what I feel the best early moves are, as well as what are the concepts uh, behind that. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, when we're first to move, uh, my first two moves are gonna basically going to be the center and the center, uh, which is basically the number four spot, uh, the spot in the middle, and I'll cover why I like the center early. Uh, my third move is going to be a little bit more questionable. It could be a defensive move, uh, which isn't so much likely if we're first to move because we're on offense. Uh, it's probably more likely going to be a pivot point, uh, a point where two of my attack lines oversack, and I'll cover that in a few minutes here. Or it could be the center, which is what my first two moves were. And it's kind of derivative of what my opponent does. Now, when we're second to move, uh, our moves going to be a little bit different. Uh, the first move is going to stay the same, and that is we're going to choose a center. Now, I've highlighted the center with the X here. It could be the first one, could be the second one. It depends on what our opponent moves. And then our second move, uh, the first priority is going to be defense. If our opponent has a trap set up, uh, we've got to defend against it. And our second priority would be the center, if there's no traps to worry about. Uh, moving on to our third move, uh, first we want to play defense. Uh, second, we want to focus on uh, pivot points, if there's nothing to defend against. And uh, finally, uh, if there's no pivot points, we want to make a move that uh, takes control of the center, if possible. Okay, at this point you're probably asking, uh, why do we move through the center? Uh, well, uh, most of the early moves that we make uh, go through the center. This gives us more opportunities uh, to win the game later on. What we're trying to do is look for the move that gives us the most amount of ways to, uh, to connect four. And usually for the first, obviously the first move, that, that piece is going to be the center because that gives us more different ways to make four in a row than any other options that are out there. Now, the same concept holds uh, as we move up on moves two through four. I'm going to circle that right there. In this spot, there's actually more ways we can connect four. And I'm going to show you, uh, highlighted in green right there. Uh, in this example, there's actually ten different ways to connect four. That's for the, the two spot. If we move up to the three spot, there's even more ways to connect four. There's actually thirteen different ways to connect four, as uh, we see right there. Then we move up to the four spot. Uh, there's the same amount of ways to connect four as there's a three spot and there's 13 different ways that go through that spot that is why uh, the center is usually the most valued uh, place to make a move uh, the exception to that would be when you have uh, pivot points or if you have to play uh, defense at this point you're asking uh, why is defense important uh, well, it's important for a couple of reasons. First off, our opponent uh, can win the game if we don't pay attention, or we can fall behind, which we don't want to do. Uh, secondly, and uh, more importantly, we want to avoid early game traps. And I have a full tutorial on that, but we're going to take a quick example of the two most common traps. Uh, the first one we're playing is green, our opponent's red. Uh, now, when we're green, we have two different spots we can go. There's the first spot I've highlighted with an X, and the second spot I just highlighted with the X there. Those are the two spots we have to go if our opponent is in that formation. Otherwise, we can lose the game pretty quickly. I like the spot I've highlighted with the arrow there because that gives us uh, a better attack line uh, going forward, and that's something that we want to use against our opponent if they try that trap on us. 
Okay, uh, we're going to take a look at another variation of the same trap. Now, both these traps I'm showing you can be flipped around to the other side of the board, but I'm just going to show you one variation of that. In this case, uh, there's three spots we can block. I'm going to highlight the first one with an X there, the second one with an X, and of course I'm going to highlight the third with an X as well. Now, of these three spots, I prefer the spot I'm drawing the arrow on there. And that is because, once again, it builds on top of anything red can do. And what we want to do is be able to uh, build on top of red's future moves and use that against them. So where they went for a win early and uh, they pay for it later in the match by having less uh, possible moves. Okay, the final piece we're going to talk about here is pivot points. At this point, you might be asking, what are pivot points? Well, a uh, pivot point is where two or more of our attack lines intersect. In other words, getting a two-for-one special. I'm going to show you an example right here. Uh, we're green in this case, and we're going to try to figure out where the pivot points are for us not for our red opponent. Uh, there's two lines right there. There's this one pivot point, number one. There's two attack lines I'm highlighting right there. That makes a second pivot point. And there's two more pivot points I'm showing right there where they intersect. That makes a third pivot point. We can also do the same on the other side of the board uh, with numbers four, five, and six. And these pivot points uh, are basically where we get a two-for-one special. In other words, we put one piece in, but it actually helps two of our attack lines, uh, which can be very valuable later on in the match. Now, obviously, I prefer pivot points near the center uh, because of what they can do later on and how, how you have more moves. And this uh, basically concludes our tutorial for today. Thanks for watching.